Hello guys, welcome to Life of Clay and welcome for all our new viewers out there. Kenji again here and today I will be making an amphibian, so called axolotl. And if you like my artwork, please support my channel by subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you will be notified whenever a new video is up. So come on, bring the clay on, and let's begin. I started filing a 3mm aluminum wire to make one end pointy. Measure it and cut to my chosen length. Wrap the other end with foil, leaving the pointy end just thinly covered. Cover with masking tape. Pierce the area for the legs and insert 1mm wire, adding resin to keep them steady. Painting it with a mix of titanium white and red to conceal the color underneath since I'm going to use a translucent clay. As the paint dried, I start positioning the armature. And then I start covering the head with thin sheet of clay all the way to the body. Adding more pieces of clay on the side of his jaw. shaping out his mouth using my loop wire tool. And making hollow space for the eyes and add small ball of gray color clay. Making a shallow line on each side of his body. Slitting the top of his body for the fin. Adding those ridges on each side of his body. the area for the gills to be inserted later and now adding the half of the body fin using regular cooking oil mixed with soft pastel of red and yellow separately I add subtle coloration in specific areas. And let's do the first baking. After that, we will proceed in sculpting his tail to join the body. Drill those poke holes and insert 0.8mm bronze wire and add adhesive. Preview. 
axolotl ambistoma mexicanum, also known as Mexican walking fish, is a neotenic salamander related to the tiger salamander. Although colloquially known as walking fish, the axolotl is not a fish but an amphibian. They thrive in Mexican lakes. They are really unusual because they can reach adulthood without undergoing metamorphosis. Instead of developing lungs to live on land, they remain underwater and gild. An axolotl with the age of 80 to 24 months ranges in length from 15 to 45 centimeter or 6 to 18 inches. Paint the gill spire with the same paint used in the armature. And again, cover it with clay and do the blending. Pinch the clay outward thinly for the fin of the tail. and correct the shape. And I use cling wrap to lessen fingerprints. And now it's time to sculpt the hind legs. Cover the wire with thin sheet of clay and blend to the body. Flatten the foot, make incision to separate the toes, and reveal the gap by removing the cut pieces of clay. Procedure goes to the other legs. And again, adding some coloring using the same method. Now it's time for second baking. And after baking, we can proceed now in sculpting his gills and the front legs. I prepared a mix of translucent clay and red color clay. Roll it out into strip and slitting the halfway edge. Cut two pieces of the red clay according to the size of the gills. Lay the pieces slit facing outward and placing the translucent clay on top and blending the edge. Wrap the wire with the prepared clay, pinching or with the use of tweezers to adhere each side, and same goes to other gills. Trim the end using scissors. After all the gills are added, now we can proceed on sculpting the front legs.
adding more colors on specific areas and now we can do the final baking. And for the final touch, I mix red pastel with water-based varnish to add more reddish color on his gills and other areas. with a mix of gold and burnt sienna. With the mix of burnt sienna and a little of black, I added speckles on his upper body including the head. Finalizing the eyes by adding black in the center. Using pearl white diluted in varnish to add shine effect on his skin. Finally, seal the whole body with the varnish, adding gloss to the eyes. And there you go. The axolotl sculpture is finally done. Please leave a comment below for any suggestions or any questions. And I hope you enjoy watching this tutorial guys. Thank you so much everyone. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.